Hi, I'm Jason, Customer Success Manager at Onomondo. Today, I'm going to show you how to set up a connector. Connectors redirect all data sent from a SIM to a specific endpoint, so there's no need for encryption logic and cloud SDKs on the device. Connectors handle all that in the network. Basically, they're a simple way to direct data from devices to the cloud. And setting up a connector is really easy. Let's go ahead and set one up in the Onomondo app. Once you've logged in via app.onomondo.com, go to Connectors and hit New Connector. We're going to use an HTTPS connector in this example. Then put in your host address. We'll use webhook.site for this demo. It's a free tool that gives us a good way to see how the data packet is sent without programming anything. Then add the host URL information to the connector. Now all the data from the sims that have this connector will end up at this endpoint even if the IP address is set to 1.2.3.4. Then give your connector a name and click create connector to finish the setup. Now we'll attach the connector to a sim. So we'll search for a sim under the sims menu and go to it. Then select live monitor. Live monitor is our tool for showing data packets transmitted through the Onomondo network from the perspective of the device. Now we'll turn on the device and transmit some data with no connector. The device sends a pure TCP packet that is encrypted. As you can see, the device has sent the TCP packet to the address 1.2.3.4. And it tried a couple of times because the IP address doesn't exist. Let's add the connector we created earlier and turn on the device again. Now we can see that we're getting a response from the server, which the device sees as the same address as the original packet. Let's have a quick look at webhook.site to see what the packet looks like when it's received by the HTTPS connector. So the first packet is the initial TCP packet from the device with its readings. The data is then wrapped in a HTTP request that also includes SIM ID data and a timestamp. The device is also programmed to ping an IP address after it successfully sends device readings. However, the connector is currently set up to send all data packets to the same URL, so it takes this packet as well and wraps it in a HTTP request. This can be solved by adding a pass-through on the connector. Let's go back to the connector screen and edit the connector to add a pass-through. The only thing that is required to set a pass-through is to select a specific protocol. We'll use the ICMP protocol as that's what ping uses. You can also set a specific IP address and for other protocols the port to limit the type of packets that are allowed to pass through the connector directly to the internet. I could set the IP in this pass through to 8.8.8.8 .8 but it is unnecessary in this case. Now let's save the connector and go back to the sim. I'll just turn on the device again so we can see the ping and the response in live monitor. We can also have a quick look at webhook.site to confirm that only one packet was forwarded to the server. Finally, let's have a look how we can switch a connector on the SIM without updating the device firmware. We'll use an Azure connector that has been set up previously with the proper credentials. Let's turn on the device one more time. Now you can see that there is no new data appearing via webhook.site, but the data has been received by Azure. Let's just send a couple more packets to see them come through. And there you have it. It's easy to set up connectors so your devices can seamlessly transmit data to the cloud. 